So I just walked in the door from the gym. I have some questions. I have a lot of questions. Someone had a lot of fun. Sorry? At all? I hope you enjoyed the little bit of chaos that I started my morning with. I had gone to the gym and I came home and that's, that's what was all over my floor. So, first off, hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to this week's video and my channel here on YouTube. I'm Courtney and this is my life of projects where I share with you all of my knitting, spinning, embroidery, and occasional quilting, really occasional crafting at this point. If you watched last week, that was our quarter year check-in where we didn't have much to report. But I thought I would show you the full damage of what the kitten did. So this is my travel project bag for my sock project. It's always in this bag and I just got home from a trip like two days ago. So it was sitting out on my work desk where I threw everything out of my work backpack and wished it the best of luck to find its way back to where it belongs. So this was sitting out. It is a drawstring bag. It was closed, but um, the kitten managed to open it and I have not yet put things back together. So yeah, this is, this is what we're dealing with. Luckily he did not chew anything. So all of the yarn is still attached to the project. I don't have to rejoin anything, but yeah, I have this lovely, lovely mess that I will deal with later today. So yeah, that was fun. Welcome to this week. So if you have been around a while, you know I've been traveling a lot for work. Luckily, I am home for the next two weeks. I'm also trying to shift my filming timeline a little bit. So this week we're starting on Tuesday and then I want to push back to starting on Monday and filming Monday to Monday. So I have a little editing time and yeah, I just, I just want to see if I like that better. We're just, we're going to try to shift things back a couple of days. So we have like a Monday to Sunday ish timeline. Yeah, but that makes more sense than Monday to Monday. Anyway, it's Tuesday. Hi. So if you, like I said, saw last week's video, we did our quarter year check-in and that was, that was something. <laughs> so based on that and based on the fact that I do have two weeks at home right now, I'm going to see how much I can get done this week. The first thing that I need to do, okay, it doesn't need to get done, but it's driving me insane. I still have holiday decorations up in my office slash craft room. Yeah. And the calendar is still on February. Yeah. So we need to do something about that. So I'm thinking this weekend I will pull out my Aki quilt that I still haven't used that I got for Christmas and maybe make a wall hanging or two with that practice using it. We'll see. That's a theoretical project. Um, that's, that's the wish list. What's actually going to get done. Maybe we should do that first. I don't know. If you haven't been here before, this is just normally everything is chaos. So yeah, we're, we're on track. So what's actually going to get done? Let's start there. Then we'll go into the hypothetical. So I am going to work on this embroidery project this week. This is absolutely going to happen. Maybe tonight. I really want to get this done so that it can go on the coffee table slash ottoman. This is a, this is a must do for the week. You will see some of this being worked on. And if you don't yell at me in the comments, we're going to work on this. Then the other thing I'm definitely going to do is work on the cider sweater. I want to get as far as I can because we do still have a few days left in the end of the month and I just want to get further and hopefully get to the part where I can start casting off for the sleeves or putting the stitches on hold or whatever the pattern has you do. So I'm going to work on that. 
And then the other must do thing that I'm going to do today is buy the fabric for this quilt. So this is the Misty Mountain, Mountain Mist, some one of that, one of those, one of those quilt. And it is for a friend of mine who is having a baby like next week. <laughs> so I doubt it'll be done by the time the baby gets here, but I at least need to order the fabric. That's uh, that's step one. So I've got to do that. That's going to get done this week. The fabric probably won't get here, so I won't get started on it, but um, ordering it would be progress. So those are the must do's. Then the probably will do list is when I went to Virginia a couple of weeks ago, trip before last, I brought back some fabric that my grandmother had left me. So I want to go through that and see what all is in that bag. She just bundled it all up so I don't really even know what's in there. Then I realized there's also a box that's still at my mother's house that has all of my grandmother's patterns. Should have brought that back with me, did not. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get that here. But for now I do have the fabric. I want to look through it and see, especially if I recognize any of the fabrics, if they are from quilts that I remember having growing up and just get it organized and figure out what I want to do with all of that fabric. I'm probably not going to keep all of it, but I at least want to go through it. So I will film that so you can see a little bit of what my grandmother left me. And then the might do list is make my wall not look like Christmas anymore. That would be a thing that I can at least replace the pictures and swap those out because I already have the prints that are like normally in those frames all year. Yeah. So let's hopefully get that done. So our craft room is a little more spring and a little less like holidays. That would be nice. But as I said, it's Tuesday. I do still have a little more work to do before I finish up for the afternoon. So I'm going to go get that done and then we will see which project catches my eye this afternoon. There's no way of knowing. I don't know what it's like to be home anymore because I've not done that for a while. So let's just see what happens on this Tuesday. all right that I start with I don't know what is this what is happening what is happening anyway okay so it is Tuesday and we're gonna do like a super quick poorly audio quality man it's not Tuesday it's Wednesday yeah it's Wednesday anyway point being so you did see last night that I got the ball of yarn that the kitten had strewn all over the apartment, untangled, and back into a ball shape so that I can continue knitting that project. But I was frustrated and I had to edit today's video because today is Wednesday and get that out. So I didn't really do any knitting or anything at all yesterday but it is almost 50 degrees outside and that's still pretty warm 
for this time of year because we're also expecting to have like snow squalls tonight. There's like a warning on my weather app, but it's currently 50 degrees and I'm just about done with work for the day. I've got a couple more things that I need to do, but then as soon as my spouse gets home, we are going to go for a short hike. It is mud season, so I'm not sure what that's going to look like, but I'm excited to get outside and actually have a little bit of outdoors time. So I will take you along with me for that. And then we'll see what knitting gets done tonight. Maybe not a lot. I did not sleep well last night. I've, I woke up at like three and I've been up since then. So we're not feeling amazing today. So our motivation's a little bit low, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try to get some things done so that this upcoming quarterly review in June is not like the one that you just saw last week. So let's finish up our work, put on our hiking boots, go do the things. Here we go. Friday and I'm taking a little coffee break and knitting break from work right now. I am just kind of having like a slow morning. I'm super tired even though I slept like really well. 
last night. I don't know if that ever happens to you, but the kitten is trying to eat part of the microphone case right now. One moment. All right, we solved that problem. Maybe. But like I was saying, I don't know if this ever happens to you, but I slept super well. Like I think I maybe only woke up one time last night, but I was still like so sleepy this morning. Like I just can't get started. I just can't get going. I've done some things for work, but then there are a couple tasks that I've just been like, you know what? That's a Monday or a Tuesday thing. I don't have the capacity to put like that much energy into things and that much focus. There's a couple design projects I need to work on and um, a couple data projects. And I just don't think I'm in the right mental space to do a very good job at those. So we're doing easy things like emails and scheduling and that kind of thing. But I thought maybe I would have a second cup of coffee and take a little break and chat with you all. Um, so this morning when I was attempting to wake up and scrolling through the news, I saw this article from the New York Times that made me smile. It is, I'll toss a screenshot in over here. I'll have it linked down below, but it was about knitting during meetings and um, the first person in the article that they talked about, the first knitter, um, was in the UK and they were admonished for knitting during a meeting. It was um, seen and it was a virtual meeting too. What is the cat doing? I don't know. <laughs> but they were knitting during a virtual meeting and that was um, perceived as rude and them not paying attention but it went on to interview and profile several different knitters from different countries and talked about how knitting really helps with focus in a meeting. There was a Harvard researcher that they interviewed and um, they also mentioned ADHD in knitting. And I absolutely love this article because it's what I have known <laughs> about me personally since before I was even diagnosed with ADHD. I did not get diagnosed until I was in my 30s, so I made it through my master's program and my PhD. It was a struggle. <laughs> like, it could have been so much easier <laughs> if I had known that's what my brain is doing. Because it's not even like having the medication, it's part of it is forgiving myself for not being able to focus and just understanding like, oh, my brain is at capacity, we are having a moment, we're having an ADHD moment, I just need to do something else and put down this task and get to it later instead of beating myself up for not being able to follow through. It just has really helped me mentally with a way of working. So suffice to say, <laughs> knitting, um, in college I found that in my discussion-based classes where there's not like notes to take, we're discussing a topic and kind of like a sharing of ideas, I would do so much better and I would engage with the conversation if I was knitting. And if I wasn't, I was doodling on my notebook or typing on my laptop and spacing out. So I really found that like knitting engaged my brain enough. And it was always like a plain vanilla sock or a hat or something that was just like straight knit. I didn't have to look down. It definitely wasn't like a sweater like this where every other stitch is different. Just doing something with my hands like that, basically my version of a fidget spinner really, really helped. And I retained that information a lot better as well. And I've seen other studies on this and other people talking about how knitting really helps with focus in those situations where you don't have to be participating constantly. You're not taking notes um, in meeting or discussion type situations, but I just... Seeing this article pop up on my news feed today really made me happy. So if you're a knitter and you knit during meetings, definitely check it out and send it to your coworkers. <laughs> and for me personally, I also knit at conferences a lot. And my boss knows that I'm paying attention. She fully supports me. But, you know, you do get those side eye glances from other people. So it's just nice to have that uh, news article and the researchers cited in there and other knitters that validates what I've already known. 
So definitely give that a look if you're interested. So other than that, the plan today is for the kitten to be a kitten. The plan today is to finish up work. And originally I was going to do some of my chores around the house. What stitch am I on? I can't talk and read my knitting at the same time. Isn't it? That is probably, okay. What is the plan for today? I don't know. Well, I still need to order the fabric so I can make my friend her baby quilt. And I just talked to her yesterday and there is a chance that she is going to have the baby on Monday. So yeah, the quilt will not be done by the time the baby gets here, but we will at least have ordered the fabric. We're doing that today. So that is on our goals list for the end of the day. And what else do I need to do? Well, this weekend, I want to do a couple things. I definitely want to go through that package that I mentioned that has the fabric from my grandmother. And I also am going to change the things on the walls. I haven't done that yet. We're going to get to that either today or tomorrow. So I think those are the main things I want to do. But for now, I'm going to go break up a cat fight. Well, it's more of a kitten who wants to play and an elderly cat who does not want to play. <laughs> Discussion. Not so much a fight, just an attempt at playing that's not, not going over well. So I'm going to sit and work on this for a little bit and then finish up the rest of the work that I need to do today. And I will check back in with you in a little bit. It is Friday afternoon, it's four-ish o'clock, and I'm done with work for the day. So we have just ordered Indian for dinner because we were out of things to cook. Well, okay, we have salad <laughs> in the fridge. You know, like healthy me from like five days ago when we went to the grocery store, bought, you know, salad, healthy things. And yeah, no, today, Friday me does not want those things. So yeah, we, we ordered Indian food, which is still like kind of healthy, you know, it's vegetables. So we're going to go pick that up. I placed the order for a little bit later. So I have a little bit of time to do some things, which is probably going to be sitting on the couch. I might, I don't know if you feel like doing the concentration needed for embroidery. I might just work on knitting some more. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to work on the sweater or the sock, probably the sweater, because I was making progress. I'm like really close to 16 inches and being able to start doing the sleeves and everything. So I kind of want to get to that part. So I might keep working on the sweater a little bit. It is snow raining outside, so that'll be fun. I will take you with us when we go to pick up Indian food. And other than that, I think it's just gonna kind of be a chill night on the couch. And then tomorrow I'm really gonna make progress <laughs> on all of the things. Tomorrow we will hopefully have more energy because today was just, yeah, it didn't get, it did not get much better. But let's, let's just like do some Netflix and knitting, so. is Saturday afternoon and I've had kind of a slowish start to the day. <laughs> I slept a lot. Um, yeah, I still don't know why I'm so tired, but a little more energy. We've had two cups of coffee today, so that's helping. But I am a little bit further on the cider sweater, so I want to measure it and see how close I am to being able to separate the front and the back and start the sleeves. I think, I think I'm pretty close. So on the measurements from the armpit to the waist, I was about a 15.5, but I want to re-measure and see if I still like that measurement, maybe compare it to one of my other sweaters and see where I'm at with the actual project. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to start <laughs> <laughs> on the office decor and get rid of the holiday stuff and switch the calendar because it's April now and we don't need to have the calendar on February. So let's at least get those things done today. That's at least a little bit better. There are still some Christmas-y looking things, but it's not, it's not terrible. So I have this print that I got on Etsy, and if I can find it, I'll link it in the description, but I love the colors. I think it's super cute, and it's a good springtime, summertime, kind of non-holiday-ish print. And then I found this Aries chart because I was born in April. I'm an April Aries. So I found this at a local store here and I absolutely love it. So I need to read all of it, but I wanted to have that up here. Um, and since it's black and white, it just kind of works. Um, then I've had that up before. I still had that fabric in my little bin of wall hanging things. So I had cut the embroidery floss that I'd used to kind of secure the back, but 
I didn't retie it. it it's working so good enough. Then obviously change the calendar. I need to fill out the calendar, but hey, we at least got the right month on the wall. So then this is still up. This was one of my holiday mini quilts. So I am not, it's not bothering me right now because it does go with the other pinks and then some of the colors in this 80s print. So if you're an 80s kid, you might remember these necklaces. I will try to find the artist on Etsy and link this as well because I absolutely love this print. So definitely uh, leave me a comment if you remember these necklaces, if you had one. And um, I'd love to hear what your favorite charm was on there. I loved the little uh, record and um, the lipsticks as well. So I love, love having this print in my office. Um, then I have an embroidery that was actually a gift from a friend. So I love having that on my wall because it reminds me of her. And I do still have the tree up, but it's not super Christmassy on its own, I don't think. So until I have time to make another mini quilt, I think both of the Christmassy-ish mini quilts will stay. And then my little fox, he is not holiday specific. He's just whichever color theme works. So I think I'm going to keep the mint when I have a mint and an orange. I think the mint works better with what I have right now. So he's going to stay. And then I have this little retro um, sewing machine. This was also a set of cards that I got off of Etsy. I will try to link that as well. I think this is a lot better than where we started with the Christmassy things on the wall. So I at least accomplished that. That was our one project we can check off the list for Saturday. So I did a quick outfit change because it is actually 62-ish degrees outside. It's super windy, but I think it'll be nice enough that we can go for a walk. So I figured I would throw on a long sleeve so we can go out for a walk really quickly. The kitten wants to say hello. Yeah? You're not going for a walk. But... Um, I at least got the office partially done. It'll take me a while before I get to doing like a mini quilt or anything. Um, but I'm happy with what we have. I don't think it looks overly Christmassy. I think all of the colors go together. It looks springtime-ish, especially with like the pinks and greens, even though that was my Christmas decor. I'm fine with it. It's not irritating me like having Santa Claus on my wall was. So I'm glad that's done. And then you also saw I measured my sweater and we're at about 14 inches. I also measured my torso and I didn't film that because there's cat fur all over that shirt, I realized. <laughs> but I think I do want it to be closer to the 16 inches just based on where I would like that sweater to hit me at my waist. Um, a little bit like lower waist around my hip area. So I'm going to aim for the 16 inches before I start the split for the front and back. So I have two-ish more inches to go. I'm going to try to get some of that done later this evening after we get back from our walk. And um, then we are probably going to hang out on the couch this evening. I also still need to do like the house chores. That'll probably be a Sunday project. And then tomorrow I'll do all the other like weekly reset things that I need to do and unbox the fabric. <laughs> I've been avoiding that. Can you tell? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if that gets done. I still haven't ordered the fabric for my friend's quilt either. Hmm. Yeah. So we will see if I can convince myself to do that. Hopefully I will get that done, but I think we're going to go ahead and head out for a walk now. So let's go enjoy the 60-ish degree weather. Wrapping up this week's video, 
I just wanted to say thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying my weekly vlogs here in Vermont. I'm glad to be back home for at least a little while and I'm super excited that it's almost spring even though we had some snow spring is right around the corner and I'm really excited to get out for more walks and to be able to do a little more outside in the coming months so I hope you're having a really great week and I will catch you in the next one Thank you.